How to make a row counter for your next knit and crochet project. They're simple and easy, very effective, and all you need are some beads, some thread, and then something that you can use to attach to your project. Here's how they work. You strung your beads and you have this gap. This would mean that I finished one row, second row, and then I finished my third row and slide a bead. I finished my fourth slide a bead. And I know it looks like these beads will fall down on their own, but they're actually quite sturdy. To be honest, I like to make myself little ones because they don't hang and put so much weight on my needles or my project, but it's really hard to see what I'm doing with those little beads, so I'm going to work with the big beads for the video. I like to use lobster claws for crochet projects right in the fabric and then I like to use stitch markers for my uh, knitting projects. But either way you start with whatever you're attaching to in the thread, tie yourself a nice boring sturdy square knot, leave yourself two nice long ends, then you're going to use those ends to string the beads. Take one and slide from left to right. Now normally I would use a beading needle. But I'm trying to keep this nice and simple not so fiddly for the video. I'm going to take your second end and string from right to left. Like that. Let me stretch it out so that you have this bead with one thread going this way and one thread going this way. Take both of your little ends and pull them tight. Like that. Once more. From right to left. Sorry, that was from left to right. Sometimes you can help it through. Here we go. That is from right to left. Take both ends and tug them tight. I'm going to make this one short. So if this is my last bead, and it is, I do not push it all the way tight. I give myself a gap. That's the gap that allows you to slide beads up and down. And you end with another square knot. There you go. I've seen them made very complicated and intricate and very simple. I've seen them made as bracelets. And if you have a nice big bead stash, you can make as many as you want. Enjoy.